Moin and welcome. Hello and welcome. This podcast is for motivated people who want to improve their Luxembourgish vocabulary, listening skills and fluency by listening to compelling content. I'm Anne, your dedicated host and the driving force behind Luxembourgish with Anne, with a true passion for teaching my mother tongue since 2012. In this dynamic podcast, I'll share with you interesting short vocabulary lessons and topic conversations from level A1 to B1, and together we will build a strong foundation of the language you need to speak with confidence about everyday life topics. I'll also share exclusive learning strategies and insights for the Spruch and Test oral exam. So join me on this exciting Luxembourgish learning journey. Bas du prat? Are you ready? Schöne guten Morgen and welcome to this neue episode. So today you will learn how to say my in Luxembourgish. So in English it is very easy. You say my children, my house, my wife, my husband, my parents. But in Luxembourgish it's a little bit different. So in Luxembourgish you will have to use either meng, man pronounce it meng, oder mein. Doc mein and meng are possessive adjectives and they refer to nouns they belong to, hence the word possessive. When you are considering which possessive adjective to use in Luxembourgish and how to use it, there are two factors to bear in mind. Let's start with the first one. Bas du prat? Ja? Dann los. So the first factor to bear in mind is to get the noun gender right. Okay. So in Luxembourgish nouns such as ein Blum oder ein Haus, ein Kanna, um, these are nouns and they are classed as being either masculine, feminine, neutral or plural. And the noun's gender dictates its definite article. Is it den, for example, den Auto? Is it Uh, for neutral nouns like taus or t for um, feminine nouns like cats. And the article for plural nouns is as well, t for example, delteren, the parents, delteren. Okay, so the gender of nouns also affects possessive adjectives. Just like definite articles, the possessive adjectives will change as follows. Let's take, for example, a masculine noun, den num. The num is a masculine noun, so we have to say for my name, you will say, yo, mein num. Okay, so use mein for masculine names, uh, nouns, sorry. And then it's the same for neutral nouns, for example, tkant. So for my child, you would say, my kant. And listen carefully. I said my can't. Why did I say my and not mine? Well, because mine is ending with the N rule, and here we have to apply the N rule because can't starts with a K. If you're not familiar with the N rule, you can head over to my website uh, under the blog, and there you will find the N rule. Okay, and there's a whole lesson about the N rule. So, so use mein for masculine and neutral nouns, and then you will use meng for feminine nouns. For example, t mom, t mom, the mother. And to say my mother, you will say yes, meng mom. And listen also here for the pronunciation. It's pronounced meng, meng, meng mom. And for plural nouns, we use as well meng, easy. So, for example, delteren, delteren, the parents. So, my parents will be meng alteren. Good. Okay. So, let's do some um, example sentences. We will start with masculine nouns. For example, uh, the dog, the dog is in Luxembourgish den Hund. Okay, so to say my dog is called Illy, you would say mein Hund heißt Illy. Mein Hund heißt Illy. Okay, so how do you say my husband? 
Yes, this is my mom. My mom. Um, and how would you say um, my husband works a lot? No, my mom schafft viel. Okay, so first we had mein Hund, mein with the N, and then my mom. Here we have again to drop the final N of mein. Let's move over to neutral nouns and do some sentences with neutral nouns. For example, the house is in Luxembourgish. Taus, okay. So how would you say my house? Of course, mein Haus. And how would you say my house has no garden? Yes, this is mein Haus hat ke Gart. Another example, for example, uh, the book. The book is also neutral. This is the book. Mm -hmm. And to say um, uh, my book is new, you would say my book as nai. Good. Let's do two sentences with feminine nouns. For example, um, the daughter. The daughter is Duesta. And how would you say my daughter is 10 years old? Yes, this is Meng Duesta as Zeng Joa A. Meng Duesta as Zeng Joa I just want to point out here, um, you can also say for my daughter, Meng, um, my Mädchen, but be careful, Mädchen is a neutral noun. So you would say, my Mädchen hört zehn Jahre oder my Mädchen aus zehn Jahre an. Okay, good. Uh, another example with a feminine noun would be, um, for example, you know, uh, my cat, my cat is Meng Katz. And um, my cat is black. This is men cats as schwarz. And then uh, we will do two sentences with plural nouns. Do you remember the possessive for plural nouns for my? Yes, this is men. Okay. So how would you say my grandparents live in the USA? So my grandparents are men großeltern mm -hmm. wohnen an Amerika. Men großeltern wohnen an Amerika. So for the USA, we say Amerika. Uh, let's do a sentence with my neighbors. Do you know how to say my neighbors? Yes, my neighbors are men noperen. And you could say men, uh, my neighbors are very nice. Yes. Meng Noperen sind ganz sympathisch. Good. Okay. So now I told you at the beginning of this episode that um, when you are considering which possessive adjective to use and how to use it, you have to bear in mind two factors. So we saw now the first factor is that you must know the gender of the noun. Okay. Otherwise, it's difficult to make a grammatically correct sentence. And the second factor is you have to check the cases of the sentence. In Luxembourgish, we have three cases. We have the nominative case, the accusative case, and the dative case. Now I have good news. So the good news is that um, it does not change in the, so the possessive adjective does not change in the nominative and in the accusative case. So there you will still use mein for masculine and neutral nouns and meng for um, feminine and plural nouns. However, in the dative case, mein becomes mengem, mengem, okay? And meng for feminine nouns becomes menger and for plural nouns it becomes Mengen. For example, if you want to say um, with my dog, you would say mat mengem hund. Because with the preposition mat, we always use the dative case. So mein hund as leif. And if you want to say um, I go for a walk with my dog, you would say a skin mat mengem hund spazieren. The same is also, for example, to say my husband. And you want to say I go with my husband uh, on vacation is Ich gehe mit meinem Mann an Vakanz. So, mit meinem Mann. Yeah. Uh, 
So this is also now for the um, for neutral nouns. For example, if you want to say behind my house uh, there is a garden, you would say "han not mingem house as a gart." Yeah. So for feminine nouns, I told you it's menga. And for example, to say with my family, with my family will always be mat menga famil. Okay, so ming becomes menga. Mat menga famil, eskin mat menga famil and vacants. And then for plural nouns, you would say mengen, mengen. For example, with my children, you would say mat menge kanam. Here uh, is also the, we apply as well the N rule. It's not mat mengen kanam, but it's mat menge kanam. Mat menge kana. Übung, exercise. So let's practice. Uh, I will ask you to make some sentences, yes? For example, can you make a sentence with my friends um, in the nominative or accusative date, uh, case? Sorry. Look, my friends. So, my friends is meng fren. Yeah. And then maybe you could say, um, uh, my friends uh, live in uh, Ash uh, Alsatz. Then you'd say, meng fren. Wunnen zu Ash Ulzest. Yeah, Doc Meng Fren. Good. Try to make a sentence with um, with my wife. With my wife. So with my wife is Mat Menga Fra. Remember, Mat is plus dative case. So we have to say Net Meng Fra, me, Mat Menga Fra. And you can make a sentence, for example, um, uh, ich gehe an der Restaurant mit meiner Frau. Hm? Okay, try to make a sentence with um, uh, my brother. So, my brother is in Luxembourgish my brother. And a sentence in the nominative or accusative case is um, my brother uh, schafft auf einer Bank. Okay, and uh, in the dative case with the preposition mat, you could say, um, ich gehe mit meinem Bruder an die Vakanz. Okay, mm, try to make a sentence with mm, ah, my job, my job. So my job is in Luxembourgish. Yes, meng abest. So abest is a feminine noun, therefore you have to say meng abest. You can make a sentence, uh, for example, um, uh, in the accusative case, um, uh, ich fuhre all der ob meng abest. Hmm? Ich fuhre all der ob meng abest. Or you can also make a sentence uh, in the dative case, for example, I am now at my office, at my workplace. You would say, ich sin ob menge Abest, ich sin ob menge abest, yeah, because you are there, so it's a dative case. And a last sentence with, make a sentence with my bike. So my bike is my velo, velo is a masculine noun, but my velo. And you could say, um, my bike is blue, you would say, my velo as blue, or my bike is very old. My velo as ganz al. Yes? Okay, so I hope that you found this lesson helpful. So it is very important in Luxembourg, and this is in general, it's not only for the possessive, it's for all the, 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 the pronouns. Uh, so you must know the gender of the nouns. Okay, so the best is that you take a notebook only for the for the gender or for the vocabulary. And whenever you write down a new noun, write it down with its gender. Okay, because if you don't master the gender of the nouns afterwards, it will be very difficult to make a grammatically correct sentence. Gut, so ich so ein Merci für die Nullaustrin und ich freue mich schon auf den nächsten Podcast nächste Woche. Merci, Adi.